Right, great crowd. <laughs> My name is Morteza Ahmadi. I'm the founder and CEO of Kidney Labs. We are developing an implantable artificial kidney for patients with end-stage renal disease. There are 650,000 patients with, with end-stage renal, renal disease in the United States, and there are only 20,000 kidneys available for transplantation each year. The demand for kidney is so high and the number of donors is so low that patients sometimes have to wait five to seven years to find a kidney for transplantation. The only option they have to use to survive in those years is dialysis. Dialysis was invented by Dr. Kolf in 1943, and it has been saving lives since then. However, the technology has not changed much for decades. Imagine yourself attached to a huge dialysis machine, watching your own blood in circulation in plastic tubes three times a week for four hours each time, with not much hope for any sort of change in near future. Such patients are in pain, and they suffer emotionally and physically. In fact, the mortality rate of patients under dialysis is 65% in five years. And dialysis costs about $82,000 per patient per year. And that makes dialysis a huge market. Dialysis was valued at $70 billion in 2015, and it's estimated to grow to $100 billion by 2020. My journey was started at Kidney Foundation of Canada when I was a fellow and I was developing a miniaturized blood dialyzer based on silicon nanotechnology. Silicon nanofilters were used by leading scientists around the world to build artificial kidneys. But to our surprise, the technology failed in material performance. Since then, I have been on this journey to build a reliable technology to build artificial kidneys. And now we have it. We have developed a unique, reliable, hemocompatible technology which mimics the filtration properties of kidneys. And now we tested that in the lab, and the result was amazing. We then packaged our technology in a biocompatible casing, and we built a device. And here is an implantable artificial kidney, and this is the prototype here. This is how our device works. Our device is connected to a major artery. The blood is diverted from the artery into a nanofiltration system, and the nanofiltration system removes uremic toxins and fluids from blood. The waste products go to bladder and are removed like a normal person. Blood is then passed back to the vein. The level of uremic toxins and fluid in the body of the dialysis patient peaks three times a week, and that's mainly before the dialysis session. Our, our vision in kidney labs is to keep the level of uremic toxins and fluids at a normal and safe level at all times using our device continuously and automatically. We were confident about our results in the lab that we decided to do animal studies with our device. To do that, we first wrote a protocol and submitted that to Ethics Approval Committee at UCLA, and we did our study in a facility affiliated with them. After receiving the approval, we went ahead with the study, and we implanted our device in two pig animal models with no renal function. In the next slide, I'm going to take you directly to the surgery room. And I'm going to show you how our device functions in the, in the surgery on the living pig. First one, power plant. Oh, this is another one. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's the fluid that we removed from the living animal. We work closely with clinicians at Stanford University, UCLA, University of California at Irvine in the United States, 
as well as Grand River Hospital and St. Joseph's Healthcare in Canada. Our FDA pathway is PMA, and in the next two years, we make sure that we do enough tests in animal models that the device is safe enough to be used in human. We then follow up that with our clinical studies, phase one to phase three. Our plan is to bring device to market in six years. Our business model is based on selling our device to hospitals for $100,000 with 65% profit margin. The hospital will be reimbursed from health insurance for $200,000, and the patients will be receiving the device for free. In comparison with the current technology, which is dialysis, we have several advantages. Our device provides treatment continuously and automatically, which provides more freedom and a more normal life to patients with end-stage renal disease. Our intellectual property covers the technology behind our nanofiltration system, as well as the technology behind our device. All this has not been possible without my team. Our team has expertise in biomedical engineering, nanofiltration, and management science. In our advisory board, we have key opinion leaders in surgery, nephrology, and expertise from people who have brought implantable devices to market. We are seeking to raise $2 million in seed round, and we want to use that to de-risk the technology to a point that is safe enough that we can use that in human. Thank you very much.